I would like to give you a quick intro to the upcoming Bricks 1.2 release and a new container element. So this is not available right now as a download in your Bricks account, but you can create a free account here over at try.bricksbuilder.io. Um, just put in your email. Um, once you're logged in, you can create pages with Bricks using the new container element. And which I'm gonna quickly show you now how this one is supposed to work. So Bricks 1.2 release candidate one uh, looks like this. So now we have our structure um, separated here on the right hand side previously um, up until Bricks 1.1.3 the structure was inside of the main panel so when you are editing um, a column for example and you just want to have a look at your structure you basically um, no longer edit your column because it just basically replaces this view so you need to toggle between those all the time now this is separated and using the new container your layouts now obviously and your whole structure becomes very versatile flexible and different and not really predictable anymore um, like before with this rigid approach that we followed of having a section a row a column and inside the elements um, definitely super helpful to just have this on all the time you can disable it and can hide it like this just by clicking on this um, structure icon but personally yeah I have I use it all the time okay so the new container um, first of all you can just click on any element now so there's no need to like drag an element onto the canvas although you can still do this so let's just add um, a heading for example and you can see now my heading has been added to the structure and this new layer approach also has the big advantage of reducing your HTML structure. Um, if I would do the same thing here in Bricks 113, if I add my heading here, and you can see that I have my section, my row, my column, and my heading. But if I'm going to style only this heading, there's no need really to have all of this, all of those wrappers around here, like this, this um, div section. So the HTML structure in the prior to a Bricks 1.2 was definitely um, way too bloated like this. So using this um, structure now here, this means um, HTML structure is going to be smaller, which means our page size is going to be smaller. So loading time is going to be faster and also this will have a positive effect on your rankings. Okay, so this is the heading. Um, I'm not going to mess with this one here. I want to show you the container. So I'm just going to add a new one, either just by clicking on it or I can just click here to add a new container. I click and you can see now I have my container in here. Now I can add um, more containers inside of this container. So let's say I, I can do this by um, editing my container and then I go here and then I can just add containers like this. Um, you can see they are now inside of my main container or I can also use this little plus icon here to add those three containers inside of my main container. And then I can use the controls here to change the direction, for example. So if I set this to a horizontal, you can see now we have this um, three column layout basically, but only using a container on the root and having those three containers inside rather than having to have this sort of structure where we have our section, our row, our columns in here. Okay, but let's, um, let me show you the alignment options by using some elements. So I'm going to edit this one and then I'm going to put in a heading and a button. I'm going to resize my container, which now I can also do visually. So I can change the width here um, I can also toggle the units. Um, in my example, I just want to change the height. Um, now change it to something like this. Maybe also add a, um, sorry, wrong click, background image. Um, I'm going to select this one of my cousin. I'm just kidding. This is just some random guy from Unsplash, um, CSS filter saturation maybe make this a bit and you can see also like this is really smooth here how this one is resizing i'm really loving this one um, 600 okay and now i want to align my elements inside of this container centered so i'm going to set my uh, main axis to centered and this one to centered as well now you can see my heading is still on the left um, this is because this um, block element takes up the entire horizontal width so what i can do i can just edit my heading and 
then I can go here to width and now we have this new auto unit. So now you can see the element only takes up the space that it needs. Um, going forward, I definitely want to provide the option to select more units or just basically you know, set any unit that you want. Um, right now this is not possible, but it's coming for sure. Um, let's change this here, the new container. Um, style, light, then it's a bit more visible. Increase this, um, extra large. Okay, that looks better. And yeah, that's how I basically created my section, just by having a container here with my alignment options, which are also now more, much more accessible, just by having them straight in this um, content tab here, rather than having to go to style layout and then scroll down to those um, settings like we need to do it previously. You now you need to go here, click on layout, go in here, and then I change it like this. Now it's much more um, visual having those controls here. Right now, in release candidate one, also we have the ability to, um, like first of all, sorry, um, you can change the HTML tag of your container as well using this um, drop down here. By default, it's going to be a div. Um, if you want to set this to section, you can set it to section. Um, it will render as a section tag on the front end. Here you can also choose different display options. Um, you can also hide this one if you don't want to show this. And this is also new in Bricks 1.2. Previously, we always showed all of the elements in the build, even though they were hidden, um, which yeah, made it actually kind of hard to reason about like what is um, visible at which point. So now the element inside of the build is hidden because I set my display to none. And Using the structure, having this on all the time, this is another argument for it, is just that you can still see, okay, I have my container here, and you have this little indicator here, this little eye icon, basically telling you that this element is hidden, okay? So if you notice, um, let's say I'm not editing my container anymore, I'm like, okay, I have, there's something here, but I cannot see anything, you see this little icon here, and I can just edit, sorry, edit my structure, and set this again to flex, and now my container is visible. So CSS grid, that's something we also want to add going forward right now. Release candidate one will not have this um, ability, but that's definitely something we're going to add as well. If there's anything else missing, like some people already reported um, on Facebook and also via email, um, some of the controls that we should add. So yeah, if there's something that you're missing in terms of the container element, definitely um, head over to forum.bricksbuilder.io. Under announcements, um, there is a post about um, this topic here, the new container, and that would be great if you can just add um, reply to this post and then we can just have a discussion over there. Okay, I think this is actually enough in terms of showing you like the basics of the container. Um, like I said, just create an account here on try.bricksbuilder.io and you have all the time in the world to basically test everything out. Also, if you are not a Bricks customer yet, uh, so you don't have access to um, the software itself, like on your own site, um, and you just want to test everything, um, going inside of your... Um, Playground, there are two plugins that we added. So if you want to test, for example, ACF, there's ACF installed as a plugin. This is the free version. Um, definitely, that's a good idea. If that's something that you're planning to use with Bricks, then you can just create a new um, field group, um, define some controls there, because that allows you also to test the uh, dynamic data here in ACF. You can see it once you've defined it. It's not available now because I'm not having this here, um, but then you can add um, dynamic data and play around with that as well. And we also installed the custom post type UI, so you can create your own custom post types. If you want to have a look, um, basically trying to replicate your real estate listings, you know, you'll probably use a custom post type or projects or any custom post type really, then that's the way to do this um, using those um, plugins here. Now for Customers who are already using Bricks and you already created your site with Bricks using the section, row and column approach, obviously um, this works completely different. So we are going to provide a migrator 
um, one, with one click, you can basically convert your existing page, Bricks pages um, from the section row and column layout into this new container layout. But um, just because it's so flexible and we don't really have like a clear um, definition of what is going to be your column, um, what's your row, what's your section. Um, and if you have a really complex layout, you might need to um, make some manual adjustments, but that's also another reason why we want to provide this um, try.bricksbuilder.io playground so you can also later on import your existing data and just like run the migrator. Um, which is accessible, well I don't have any data in here right now, but um, you're gonna be able to use the um, just to select any page that you created with the old structure and then using this bulk action you will be able to migrate to the new container. You just click apply and the data will be migrated to the new container. The old data will still be saved, it's still going to be there, so you can always roll back to a previous version of Bricks and yeah, continue using that one as well. Alright, I think that's a wrap. Um, that's everything I wanted to mention in terms of the new container. Like I said, please um, test it, you know, let us know, don't be shy, just head over to the forum, uh, forum.bricksbuilder.io, uh, reply to the official post about the new container and we would really like to improve this together with you as always in order to make sure we have like a stable 1.2 and the migrator is also working as well. All right, thanks so much for your attention, bye bye.